Hello, I am Nick Samborski and today I'll show you how to make a live camera shake in Unreal Engine. To begin with, we create a sequence with camera movement, which we want to adapt to the live movement of the operator. This is the camera that we will add to the shake we create later. Then we need to activate the plugins and restart the engine. The preparation is over, and now we will deal with the camera shake itself. To do this, add a virtual camera to the level and move it to where it will be convenient for us to see our movements. Then enable the Life Link WCAM app on the iPad, add it to the Life Link menu in the engine, select our iPad in the virtual camera itself and launch play mode or simulation. After that, we need to click connect in the app and we will see a picture from the camera inside the Unreal Engine. Yes, we can move around with the iPad and capture the entire scene handheld. If we want to capture the feel of a handheld camera but we don't have much space, then here's what we'll do. We'll add the iPad to take recorder and start recording. Now Unreal Engine writes all our movements from a real life using the iPad. We hold it in our hands for about a minute for a long piece of recording. You can repeat this by walking with the iPad or by taking a few steps in place. It's done, all we have left is to edit the recorded sequence by removing all unnecessary tracks and keys from the location track. We only need the keys on the rotation track.
We copy the skis and create a camera animation sequence. First of all, we make the transform track additive, so that the influence of the main camera transform is complementary, and insert the rotation keys that we copied earlier. Back in the main sequence we add a camera animation to our camera and select the prepared sequence. It remains only to move it by selecting the appropriate segment and in addition, we can choose the strength with which this animation is played, in our case to reduce the trembling. We got a live camera movement inside the engine, now we send the sequence to render and look at the result. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in new videos.